Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today we're looking at some uh, one of my favorite coaches. It is made by Beaver. Uh, at this time, it was made over in Bend, Oregon. Um, these are some of the best built coaches, in my opinion. The house, I don't think anyone holds a candle to them. They're just built like, uh, they're built wonderful, like a beaver. Um, but yes, yeah, so a 1999 40 footer. It's a beaver marquee. It's a Torlamine um, trim package or model. Um, so that's the floor plan for it, but just really nice, well-built coach. Um, just your electronic ends there, nothing too exciting. I'll close that so you can see it. Obviously, we got the nice big bug guard up front. Keep that paint nice and healthy. No rock chips there because of it. Um, looking down the side, you'll see they just used a really high quality siding on it, so you don't tend to ever get delamination. Um, there's the clear coat's in great shape on here. No signs of the clear coat coming off at all, um, and no checking on the paint whatsoever. Um, here you'll see we do have a, a fill neck for the fuel tank. There's one on either side, so you can fill from both sides of the rig. This was added after the fact, but these are side-mounted cameras, so you'll flip your blinker on and it'll show you down the side of the coach. That's on both sides, and you do have a backup camera as well. Um, tires are fairly new on here. I believe they're a year old. Yeah, about a year old, mounted in 2021. Um, on all your slides you have uh, window awnings there's on all your windows you have window awnings uh, here and there I guess it is missing that one but pull those out on a rainy day you can still get fresh air in without moisture coming in or if it's so hot you don't want the sun beaming in there but you want some fresh air use it however you'd like um, your basement comes out on this side with the slide here's just access for your generator um, that's a 10,000 watt diesel generator made by Onan and uh, your propane tanks right over yonder it's a 42 gallon tank uh, just some storage here. Um, here's one of the things I love about Beaver coaches is I always felt I, I always feel like they uh, the people that made them actually used um, actually used rigs. So I mean they're very practical. What this is here is like a valve center. Um, so say you have a leak in your kitchen sink, you can turn off just the valve for hot or cold in your kitchen sink, isolate it, and then uh, continue to use the whole system so you're not having to turn off your water pump or turn off the entire plumbing system um, because you have one leak. So you can isolate it there and fix it down the road. Um, you do have a uh, flush washout tank for like a what they, why, uh, Santa flush for cleaning out the tanks. Um, you can hook up a pressure washer to it here and use that for cleaning the coach. Um, the, 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 the drain's automatic, so you just press the button and that opens up the, the, the sewage drain. Sorry, I'm str struggling with my words right now. Um, and you do have the, the sink out here. can be uh, used as a shower if you want to put the nozzle head on that, but hot and cold water on the outside. Um, it is a side-mounted radiator here, so you have a huggable engine in the back. These breathe a lot better. They cool the coach a lot better. Um, and while we're here, I'll have you take a shot down the side of the rig, see how straight that thing is. No D-lamb, no checking. Really good looking rig. Again, it's a beaver marquee. It's a high, high end uh, beaver. Um, this is a Caterpillar C12 motor. It's a 425 horsepower rig. Um, probably about 13, 1400 foot pounds of torque. Perfect RV motor. I, I don't know of a better one. I know some people prefer the C15, but that's just less fuel mileage and you don't always need that much power you know it's a 40 footer a c12 is an amazing motor for it um, you have a 10,000 pound hitch down at the bottom i've seen those go as high as 15,000. normally you just need to upgrade the receiver if you need more weight but for 99 percent of us 10,000 pounds is enough uh here's our service center again i think beaver does a good job of uh, building these things for to be user friendly you have really easy access to your hydraulic fuel uh, hydraulic uh, filter, oil filter, fuel water separator, fuel filter, um, your uh, your air filter here. So I'm just forgetting my words. And then these are all T valves to bleed out the air from the suspension if you ever needed to. It's just nice and easy to get to. Uh, most of the time you're not going to be really using that. This is your diagnostic link. It can kind of be used like an OBD2, OBD2 reader to read the computer or the motor. Um, and then you have readouts for your water temperature, which is your radiator, and um, oil pressure. So really nice having that. You can work when working on the engine or if you're doing something like that, you're not taking a trip into the cab every single time. You can also uh, turn on lights and start the engine from back here as well. And you also have a control board for your leveling system. You have air leveling as well as hydraulic leveling. So you have hydraulic jacks and then your suspension can also level itself out. So two options there. And also you can work that from inside the coach as well. 
here, nothing too exciting. Um, two chassis batteries, six deep cycle house batteries in the back there. Um, I know they're fairly new, but uh, we always take a look at those and make sure they're healthy for you. Um, you can see how low the wheels are in the wheel well. That's the air suspension system if you're not familiar. Um, when they're parked, they squat a little bit to make it more stable in there, but this is not right height. It'll raise up about five inches or so for taking off. Um, not trying to hide anything from you. There's really nothing to see in this compartment. It's just access to get to plumbing and things like that. Um, here is our main basement storage. Again, not a full pass through except for in that corner. That corner does pass through, but you have this nice big open basement in here. A um, couple of GFIs over there, GCFIs, so outlets, plugs in there, um, and a cable hookup if you want to have a TV set up outside. In this bay, you'll see we have our, our Joey bed that comes out about 60% of the way or so. And another plug here, so it's a total of six plugs just in this basement here, and you also have some 12 volt um, plug-ins there as well. Um, this is a heated basement. You have heated tanks, so nice and easy when uh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, nice and easy when uh, you're not using it in the cold months. Speaking of cold, um, this is your hydronic heater. It's a diesel fire furnace. So what that's gonna do is basically give you a more or less endless hot water. Um, very, very good water heater. And also it, it will uh, give radiant heat in the floor. So your floor will be heated because of your hydronic heater. Also what's really nice about them, it's a diesel fire furnace. This thing you roll around with like 175 gallons of diesel, makes it so you don't even have to think about fueling that thing up like you do with a regular propane furnace or propane water heater. That second fuel neck right over here, that second side mounted camera, we do have a doorbell. All right, let's try this again. All right, walk it in, got the doorbell, gotta love it. All right, come on in, I got this slid, slid way too far forward, sorry about that. Um, but here we do have a step cover. So as you're walking in, or uh, yeah, right, right here as you're walking in. When you're sitting here, um, you don't have to worry about falling down the, the wheel well. You can just come on in. But one thing uh, Beaver does that I don't think anyone does better than them is the woodwork in these things. This is all bird's eye maple with a really nice finish on it. Um, super easy to keep clean and just a really, really nice rig. It's super quiet when going down the road. There's not a lot of rattling or anything like that. Here we have our fairly standard cockpit, um, air brakes down here, full air, su or air suspension, air brakes, um, all that good stuff here. Um, two stage exhaust brake, so three cylinder or six cylinder, very nice. Um, see about 72,000 miles on this rig, I'm not sure if I already said that. Um, your speakers here that play for the, the chassis side of stuff can go throughout the entire house, so it can be used as a home stereo or as car radio kind of as you're used to using it. With that hydronic heating system also, you can preheat your motor, which is very, very nice. Uh, so when you're sitting, getting ready to leave, you don't have to wait for the rig to warm up. Just hit that switch and it'll preheat the motor. Um, and you have a block heater as well. So two separate ways to heat the motor. Um, battery boost, you know, cruise control, all that good stuff. You do have a spotlight on the roof as well. So as you're uh, coming into a place, if you can't see where you're going, you can, uh, where's the control for it? Right here, right here. So you can uh, do spotlight. You can do a floodlight and you can uh, change the direction of it and you know take a look at where it's going. So super cool there. Um, you do have heated and powered mirrors on here. What else, what else? Lots of good stuff. Um, you know, cruise control, you got the fans uh, for defrost, all that jazz. Oh, and a CB radio. Um, I love this. I wish I saw more with it, but the opposing couches uh, makes out into a bed. This one has storage below it, but does not make it into a bed. So storage here. Uh, that's a scissor bed there. Um, lots of good counter space. Again, this is a not, or sorry, a single slide unit. Um, it's not a big slide, about 18 inches. So when it comes in, it doesn't really hinder your use of the space. It's into about here. That's about it. Um, there's a leaf for this table so that it gets a little bit bigger, can seat a couple more people. I love the blinds in this thing. These are all powered, um, but it's not like your typical just accordion blinds. These guys go up and down and make nice shade and kind of insulate well too. 
Um, love the way Beaver always does this. They always have a place for uh, wine glasses, bottles, or whatever you want to do there. But just look down the sides of this thing, tons of storage. Beaver coaches always did a good job of always putting plenty of storage in their rigs. And just the way they're built, it's, I don't know that anything compares. I always like showing this. You can see that in the camera, but that's all dovetailed there, the way they're constructed. And it's not a vanity thing, you know? These things stay solid. That's what keeps you, when you're in a state of earthquake going down the road driving, um, you want things built well so that it's not gonna rattle and fall apart on you um, after just a few uses. So beautiful thing there, um, kind of a different spot here. More storage, good size cabinet books, things like that, whatever you would keep uh, couch side. Um, Built-ins there for all your silverware, things like that. You even have a nice cutting board, little storage tray below it. Got a big, big sink, porcelain sink, almost like a farm style sink on this side, and then you got the small little one over yonder. You do have, uh, so this is just regular water, of course, purified water, and then this is your instant hot, so it comes out near boiling, um, save you some time when you're doing pasta or anything like that. You have a propane stove here, two burner stove, two is normally really all you need. You know, you see a lot with three, but how many people actually use three burners at a time? Very, very rare, but nice big two burner stove, a couple of big pots on there. Again, I love the way Beaver did this. Again, a very practical thing. Uh, you have a plug back here, so you can keep a toaster back there. Whatever it is you want to keep on the counter that you don't want to have to put away every time you move the rig, put it in there, close it away, or use it as a bread box, whatever you want to do. Um, but good storage, no wasted space on here. All that's good. And then big storage in here. No, again, no wasted space. This is a two-way fridge, so propane and electric. It's a good size one, probably about eight cubic feet or so. We have an ice maker in the freezer. Um, but yeah, just a good size one and definitely, definitely good having the two ways. I don't know who turned that fan on. Probably me. You have a remote for your fan. Um, coming into the bathroom, again, it's non-slide, but the space in here is just wonderful. Good uh, counter size on your vanity there. Um, porcelain potty, very good. Um, you do have the tub and shower here. So it's actually probably one of the better sized tubs I've seen in the Class A motorhome. And then just a really nice product that they use um, for the shower itself. Um, brand new skylight up top. We do have fantastic fans here in the kitchen and I believe also in the commode. Oh, no, just right above there. Pardon me, the two. Uh, and then just nice good closet space in here. Again, that beaver quality. It's all western red cedar in there. It's beautiful. And more storage on this side. Would you look at that? little ironing board that folds out for you. How neat. Um, to the left here, you'll see we have room for a stackable washer and dryer if you want to go stackable. Again, all cedar lined in here still. But right now as it sits, we have, oh, I'm sorry, pardon me. The um, the washer dryer there is not installed, but that, that was what was there before was a, um, a combo washer dryer. But here, even your pocket doors, let me show you this on these things are beautiful. You see them nowadays and they're hollow. Oh shoot, it's a mirror on this side. Beautiful on this side, depends what you're looking at on this side, if it's beautiful or not. I'll let you be the judge of that. I normally, I like what I see in the mirror. Ha 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 ha, it's supposed to be funny, it wasn't. And uh, let's see, that's another mirror. Another mirror, so um, you can definitely look at yourself. Um, I'll show you from the bedroom, it's just a beautiful door they put here, but it's all solid wood. Again, even your walls here are solid. Um, good storage coming into the bedroom right there. Um, in here, we do have a walk around queen. What's kind of nice is uh, when it's not in east west, you don't have that step up right here because the bed's right there. So, no real incline there. Here, it does jump up maybe an inch and a half, two inches, but that's about it. Um, we get some storage under the bed. On both sides, you have more storage, uh, built ins at the bottom, and then all around the top. You also get a really nice kind of flood lighting through these roof balances here. And then you get your big closet here. So between the bathroom, this closet, this storage, and that storage, you should have enough to keep uh, you have to keep all your stuff put away without taking up too much space. 
Um, and in here, I don't know if you can see them, but those are the folding chairs that are uh, for the for the table out there. Let me show you this pocket door, even though it may seem silly, it just uh, it shows you the kind of quality that Beaver use and just all solid wood, super duper nice. Um, really, no shortcuts are taken on these uh, on these Beaver motorhomes. They're beautiful. Um, so again, so on the carpet, you might not feel it quite as much, but again, you have hydronic heating, which will heat your floor. So on all this tile, really nice being barefoot in the morning, nice warm feet. Um, you can also heat the coach by using the hydronic heating, forcing air out of the floor there. Um, you also have a propane heater to just burn regular propane, like a regular furnace on most motorhomes. And then I believe you actually have heat pumps on here as well, but I'm not certain of that, so double check me. Oh, these fans are on. Okay, yep, yeah. and then I'll just and show the vanity. But good storage for all your bathroom stuff. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I don't want to bust it. But yep, yeah, you can imagine it's the same back there. All right, uh, let's come on back here. Let me think what I'm forgetting. Do to do. I'll leave it at that. I, I'm drawing a blank on anything else, but here's just your control center here, your power center to read out. Um, generator's got a little over a thousand hours on it. Um, just good storage all the way around. Up front here, even have little pull out things. This is actually an old uh, multiple CD changer. You know, if you want to update something you might use, you can, but who knows, maybe you still are using CDs to reach the own. Here we have the, this is for your surround sound plays and all these speakers that are around the coach. Sony speakers, very nice, good sound to them, and a updated flat screen there. Um, I'm basically going to leave it at that. If uh, if you guys know these units, I don't need to tell you too much about them. It's a Beaver Marquee, 1999, um, low miles on it, C12 motor, Allison six-speed transmission, Allison 3000 six-speed transmission. Uh, you do have a 2000 watt inverter on here. But I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to drag the video on too long. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please, uh, if you have any questions, contact me. My phone number and uh, name and email should all pop up on the screen here at some point. So anyway, thank you guys. Have a great day.